As we are reopening research here at BU, it's very important that the facilities are ready to handle the incoming researchers and make sure they operate in our building safely. And what I'd like to show you over the next couple of videos is the process that we go through to make sure that happens. So let's get started. When we got noticed that BU was going to allow a phased ramp up, everyone was really excited to come back and resume experiments. There was a lot of planning involved with making sure that the lab would be a safe place to return to. Hi, so I'm heading into the lab right now. Here's the building, our beautiful building. You know, of course, face coverings on at all times. We have a list of things that we're required to do when we go in. So the first thing we have to consider as the people enter the building, we need to maintain a six foot distance between the people as they're waiting for the elevators, as the elevators are deemed one person capacity only. So I'll be using blue tape to mark off where people should stand while they're waiting for the elevator. So we have two spots here in the vestibule. And then every six feet through the lobby, people can wait until the elevator is available. You come in through the front door and it sort of leads you to the elevators and there's a door now that's key carded to get to the elevator. So if you're not a researcher without key card access, you don't access the elevators. You know, I never thought I would miss awkward elevator rides with other folks. Okay, so I'm getting into my office now. One of the first things we do is we switch from cloth face covering to a medical grade face mask. One-handed, nice. So our next challenge is lab space. The Killashan Center in general, as you can see behind me, is made up of a lot of shared benches. Just about till now, we've been operating at about 30% capacity at any point, which means that we've broken the lab up into shifts. For the purposes of space planning, I can take these six bays and divide them up into two teams of three while still maintaining social distancing. Each bench is six feet long by 30 inches deep. So what we can do is put down markers of blue and yellow tape to indicate where people can sit while working together. The result is a zigzag pattern, which allows three people to work at the bench at any given time. People can work diagonally from one another, but not next to each other or directly across from one another. There we go. One workstation set up for six people in two different shifts. All right, so this is the lab space. Um, I guess the probably the most significant change is fewer people. Like there'd usually almost always be someone in our base before. We've been adopting social distancing in the lab in many of the same ways that we do all around us. When researchers are in the lab, they're staying six feet apart, they're wearing masks, all the PPEs. When we have enclosed rooms, we only let one person in at a time. Now I can go in. Some things have been kind of blocked off, like eyepieces on microscopes here. Uh, we can just use the camera now. In addition to that, for microscopes that are not connected to digital computers, we adapted them with simple iPhone mountings. And the camera from the iPhone actually just sees right down the eyepiece and shows us exactly what we would see through the eye hole. Just seeing the enthusiasm of graduate students and postdocs now that they've been able to resume has been the best. And now we're finally seeing some like new data. So that's been really nice. Okay, just finishing up for the day. It's dark outside. At the end of each shift, we have a policy where we go through and we clean the high touch surfaces. Rigorous cleaning of any kind of commonly used equipment and other things in the lab, like even door handles and fridge handles and things like that. One thing I found is that this whole experience, folks have only become more passionate about research. It's a reminder of how important our job is as scientists. You know, it's really important to push really good science and to remind ourselves that, you know, science is important to the society as a whole in addressing big issues like the one we're faced with right now. And so we're really motivated to keep doing that.